itself right there. Scoot that over. Click. Responding to comments, y'all. Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Lockout, man. In the building, man. Long day today. Long day today. Yo, y'all ready? Y'all ready to get into this? Today's podcast is going to be about prejudice in the in, in the trucking industry or in life general. You know what I'm saying? In life general. Is prejudice is racism still rampant is it is it more rampant now than ever how about in the trucking field has it is it is it rampant in the trucking field let's uh let's talk about it right quick what's up y'all lockout men in the building yes i am on a nice clean refreshing four day weekend that i did not look look i i i did not want this i did not want it okay what i wanted was to get out there and get the rest of my miles for the rest of the week i that's what i wanted but i had to get a 34 in the clock that damn clock is is the one that that's doing it now leave it up to me i i, I would have drove for the rest of the week probably came home tomorrow and then take my days off but when that clock says stop you gotta stop mm, you you gotta stop and take a 34 and reset the clock man so, yo, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more. I'm just saying, you you want more? Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Let's let's just jump into this topic, man. So, give it up to my man Jarvis Jones. He's a he's a truck driver. I'm not sure how many years. I probably might need to get him on. I'm, I'm, I'm just, look, Jarvis, if you're watching this video, man, the reach out is here. I'm reaching out to you, man. I'm, I'm pulling you in, bruh. I'm pulling you in. You, you should be on the next episode of uh lockout men's podcast, man. I'm telling you this man right here be coming up with the good. I, I don't know where he finds them, but he be finding good, uh, trucker news. Well, this specific top this this specific situation may not be trucker related, but it's trucker specific. Trucker specific? Maybe. Because what this man has done, I don't think no other man would 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 would, would do. I think I think given the situation, he would have just dropped what he was doing and just left it alone. And just said, fuck it. Let's see who I'm talking about. This guy right here. This guy. He, um, but let, let me just, let, let, let me just let him tell you. Hey, everybody. I just want to break this off to y'all from what happened today. For me saving this lady today. I ain't tell y'all the full story on what I had to deal with while I was saving her. Okay. This lady and her husband come out of this gas station and the lady falls. I see that they're an older couple. So I see that he's not able to pick her up. So I go up there and I'm checking her. He's calling out her name. I said, okay, sir. I said, let me see what the problem is. He looks at me and says, you get the fuck away from my wife, nigger. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, get the F away from my wife in her. Mm, mm, mm. This man saw that another man, uh, he saw that somebody need help and he didn't even see color at all not at all he ain't seen it at all and he jumped 
into action to save this woman's life. This man's wife's life. He jumped right into action. And and for for all his for all his accolades, he gets called the N-word. For what? You got that much hate in your heart to 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 not have this man save your wife's life? What about your what what if what if it was you on the ground and your wife was standing there? You think your wife would turn around and say something to this man that's trying to save your life? I think she would be grateful. I I think so. I think she will be grateful, sir. You're not grateful. You're not grateful to this man that 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 potentially saved this that 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 potentially saved your wife. Let's look. I know what you guys are gonna say. This video is about two years old, and I understand that it is, but like I said, my man Jarvis, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even known about it. But I'm I'm talking about it because there is a little bit of racism in trucking. Yes, it is. There's a little bit of prejudice in trucking. You hear it on the CB. You see it at the truck stops. You see it at the at the fuel island. I I did a video a while back about a uh, about a about a gentleman that was called the N word. This is a male dominated uh a male dominated industry, you know. And particularly, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, it uh, it was a lot of white guys back in the day that was driving, you know, bef- be- before us before us black guys started driving, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a mixture now. You know, we got we got blacks, whites, Hispanics, we got foreigners, we got big people, little people, we got women. We're all we're all in this game now. And we all put our pants on the same way. We all bleed the same color. We all bleed the same color. We all we all get up and wash up the same way. There's no difference other than the color of our skin. So what makes what, what makes this guy hate this man so much that he don't want him to save his wife's life? So I said, sir, if I don't help her, she's going to die right here. He said, I don't give a fuck what you're trying to do. Let me go find somebody else to help her. Let me go find somebody else to go help her. Really, dude? You're going to let your wife die just because you don't want this man to administer CPR to save your wife's life. Really? Really, nigga? Really. I mean, I'm, bruh, really, really, nigga, I mean, I, I can't see it, I can't see it, I don't understand it, I mean, your wife is literally on the ground, losing her life, and this man right here can save it. But yet you don't want him to do nothing at all because he's black and you want somebody else to save her life. So he goes inside the store. Meanwhile, I'm outside checking her and start administrating, administrating a, CPR on her. Well, 
So another couple comes up. They ask me if I need help. I said, yes, can you please dial 911? She stopped breathing. He comes back outside with the clerk. He says, didn't I tell you to stay the fuck away from my damn wife? And I said, sir, if I don't continue doing what I'm doing, she's going to die right here. He looks at the clerk. Do you have anybody else around here that can do CPR? It's, it's mind blowing what 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 be in these people's hearts. I wasn't you know hate hate you you don't you don't be born you you don't be born with hate. When you born, you born with with honesty. You you grow into hate. You grow into hate. You're learnt hate. You're taught hate. A kid, you know, to, from zero to maybe five, they don't see color. They all they see is another kid. You know, I mean, in their in their in their small minds, they'll be like, "Yo, that's." It's a black kid right there. That kid is not the same color as me. And they look at the parents and be like, mommy, daddy, why that kid's a different color than me? And then it'd be the mommy and the daddy or a grown up or a guardian that be telling them, teaching them. Oh, well, that that's not a pure, that's not a pure person right there that's a dirty person right there that person right there that that is not your equal right there that person right there is beneath you that person right there is is below you and the kid get taught that so much he's gonna grow up with that hate on his heart and he see another man a different color don't know his background, don't know his 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 structure of what type of family he comes from. All he knows is that he's a different color than I am and I hate him. But you don't know the man. You don't know the man. The clerk said, sir, no, I don't. You might as well let him keep doing what he's doing. He said, no, you get the fuck away from my wife now. So the clerk pulls him back. And I still keep administrating the CPR while he's yelling all this hateful shit. Now, my thing is, if I would have just got up and left, she probably would have died. She would have died, bruh. She would have died. But salute to you, man, for not for 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 not giving in to all of that. Salute to you for you that you wanted to be an honest human being to save this lady's life. Despite of what this hateful black hearted person was doing in Philly. Salute to you, bruh. God made me better than that. I will never ever in my life teach my kids that amount of hate. That bothered me something terrible all day long. You see my eyes are red, right? Yeah, I've been crying because I'm I'm hurt. Y'all calling me a hero and stuff. I don't feel like one. That man got to me and I let him get to me. Now you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to reach out to this bro. I'm I'm about to I'm about to reach out to this man cuz I I would like to get him on and I I would like to uh I would like to get this man on. I would
comment. Just sent it out to him. I'm going to search for this guy. Uh, I don't know who it is, but I'm going to search for this man because I I, I want to get I want to get him on. I want to get him on. But you know what? To God be the glory. God be the glory. In everything I do. I sat there and took all that. And don't you know, after the ambulance got there and the guy said that I did a good job and people telling me that I did a good job, you know what the husband did? He just looked at me and walked away. Mm. Not a thank you, nothing. Prejudice is real. I've seen it too many times. But that amount of hate that you're willing to risk your wife's life I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it either, bro. Let's get into some of these comments. Right quick. I.K. Carter says he clearly wanted his wife dead. You thought it a murder, a murder, brother. <laughs> uh, maybe so. Maybe so. I mean, that was so much that was so much hate in this man's heart that he did not want this brother, a black man, to save his wife's life. He didn't. I can't say if he wanted his, I mean, he wanted his wife dead, but he damn sure, he, he damn sure didn't want him to, to save her life. Esther Ingram says, the love of hate versus his wife's life. He loves hate more than he loves his wife. He may have wanted to collect on a life insurance policy. Who knows? The N-word left his mouth. I would have walked away. A lot of guys would have. A lot of guys would have would have stopped what they was doing and walked away. And just look back at him. Trying to find somebody that knows that knows what he was doing to save his wife's life. Now, would he would have been wrong? Would he would he would have been wrong if he would have just walked away? Would he? Would he would have would he would he would have been wrong? Would he would have would he would try to say that five fucking times? Last one out says in some states it's a felony to not help if you're CPR certified. This dude's a better man than me. I'd have let her die for marrying a racist. I don't know. Life. Sometimes, sometimes life is more important than, than what you're feeling. If, if my son or wife or, or any one of my family members was, was in a situation and a white man was there to help. Come on, man, do what you need to do to save my wife. I don't care what color you are. You could be black, you could be white, you could be orange, yellow. You, you could be beige for all I care. Hell, you could be a fucking alien for all I care. If you know how to save my wife or any one of my family members, come on, do it. Natalie S. Meyer says, I commend you for your attempts, but sis would have been, sis would have been left right there. Where she dropped. See what I'm saying? A lot of people. I, and I I can't say nothing. I, me personally, I would have I would have did the exact same thing he did. I I would have tried to save this woman's life. A lot of people wouldn't. 
they would have just left her. That lady Dre says the fact that you were that you were even able to stay focused on saving her life after being disrespected in such a hateful manner is a miracle in itself in my eyes. Now, have you had left her and she died? He probably would have tried to blame you. Shaking my head. Bravo, brother, for doing what's the humane thing to do regardless. The humane thing to do. And that's exactly what it was. It was the humane thing to do. To save that woman's life. Regardless of what. The, regardless of what the husband was doing truck drivers we we know that we we know that racism is real hatred is real prejudice is real your fellow trucker man right there having a seizure having a heart attack having a having a stroke right there in the fuel island And a black man came over to try to help you. Would you would accept his help? Think about it. Karen Ditson says, wow, that's a lot of hate to try to absorb a lot. Don't do it. Think about the strength and the fortitude you were able to present under extreme trying circumstances you did a great thing you preserved you considered the value of someone's life over your own hurt soldiers that served in the world war one and world war two and the uh, korean conflict did the same thing and here we are now having to find out that demon that demon hasn't had his head cut off yet I'm praying that it doesn't live in your headspace, that it has no authority over, that it has no authority over, doesn't change the goodness, and it doesn't cause you to rage. Live in peace, brother. Exactly. 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 Exactly, man. Taryn. Tamara Davis said, you should have granted his wish. Maybe, maybe so, but still, this man that saved this lady's life did not have no type of hate in his heart to do that. You know? Still, key word is humane. It's the humane thing to do. Oh, yes. He is miles above that old man. Racism is definitely some kind of a mental disorder. This is from Trenise Edwards. Is it a mental disorder? Can't you know what? They did an episode on law and order uh, about racism being a disease. Is it a disease though? I mean, if it's a disease, then what? Everybody should have it. Boss player said this man just realized he's been given the benefit of the doubt to his oppressor that does not deserve it. Yep. Kenneth Larkmar says he hates you and he don't even know you. That's the sad part. But trust me, you put something on his mind, and every time he sees his wife living, he will think about your face, and that's a fact. And I hope God, I hope to God his wife was able to hear all that while she was going through her tragic situation. I hope, I hope to God she heard every word and was able to tell him about himself the next day. This is really, this is really heart aching shit. For real. God, thank you for keeping this young man cool to do what he had to do because of you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 
look, y'all. Y'all can I'll I'll link the rest of this. Uh, I'll link the I'll link the video in the uh, in the comments. I mean, in the uh, description below. Uh, this guy right here, his name is I'm a G. Uh, definitely subscribe to this man because what he's we what he has done was a miracle. Now, what I want to comment on now. Before I get up out of here, I want to I want to show you this right quick. This man got over about to hit the like and about to hit the subscribe and about to hit the all button. That's how you do it. You hit subscribe. First, you hit the like. Then you hit the subscribe and then you hit the all button. That's what you do. That's what y'all do. Like, subscribe, all button bell all button you know but look at what this man got he got over a thousand likes and 26 dislikes 26 dislikes let me show you guys again 20 this man got 26 dislikes really really nigga really he got he got he got 26 dislikes. Bruh. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, my God. He got 26 dislikes. Really, nigga? 26 dislikes. <laughs> Come on, now. Come on, now. He. It should be zero dislikes on there. For the people that gave this man 26 dislikes, are, are, are y'all feeling the same way? Do y'all have some type of hate in this heart to give this man 26 dislikes? You mean to tell me when, when you clicked on this video and you heard this man's story and you go down there and you say, huh, I dislike this video. Why? This man over here talking about saving somebody's life. And you dislike the fact that he tried to save somebody's life. Bruh. Come on. You try to you, this man's trying to save somebody's life. Which which I think he did. He did. I hope this guy get back to me though for real because we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm about to get ready for this uh interview. I've been trying to get a, my my G got a hold of me earlier today, but I don't know if if he's trying to get a hold of me, but excuse me. But for the most part, uh, I'm going to try and get on up out of here, get this video up and post it for you guys. And um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoying the content, man. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share and hit that bell along with that all button for more content like this. I am Lockout Man and I hope you guys come back for more. Come back for more for the next podcast, the next interview, the next randomness stuff that I give you guys. Yo, I am out. You guys have a blessed one. And I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a nice evening, and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. All right, that's it. We're done. <laughs>